let's get started. Welcome everybody to the season three push with the Packers. Trying to establish a dynasty here after we won the Super Bowl in year two. We are 2-1 two and one after we actually lost our first game against the Saints. Jordan Love is having his best year. We still got Aaron Jones in the building, spreading the ball around nicely. Uh, but the defense hasn't been quite as good. Still pretty, pretty solid, though. So let's get the thing rolling. I say that, but we, we have only given up 13 points over the last two weeks uh, average. I went ahead and made another fictional class, just um, fixing the devs for some of the top guys and rearranging the edge players so that it's online, making sure safeties aren't six foot four, all that stuff. But I only I didn't look at dev traits for anyone outside the top ten, so still going to be plenty of surprises, all surprises really. I think we should probably scout. This team's so good at this point. Um, I think we could scout tight end. Let's start with that. Will Rodgers opt out? No. No, he won't opt out. He actually wants to play. And that doesn't... Opting out doesn't fix his problem at all. All that does is make him a Packer one year longer. It would just send a serious message to Green Bay, but um, I really don't think that's going to happen. What's up, Fallout Kid? My day's going great. Definitely a lot more positive vibes than yesterday. We don't need to scout fullback. Test streamer, remember we just drafted one? We just drafted a total stud at fullback. What's up, Lambo? All right. We got everybody in the house. We got a bye week next week. Also, guys, I, I noticed last video we didn't have the game audio on. If you guys don't hear game audio, don't be afraid to speak up. I'd rather you say something than nothing, because I can't hear everything on my end. Also, Lisa B. missed your comment up there. What's up, what's up? TFGF is, is out there on the patio with Teddy right now. We just dog-proofed our patio so Teddy can sit outside. Let's scout receiver. What's up, Jedi Ralts? One of my favorite Twitch usernames that shows up around here. All right. Aaron Jones, definitely not re-signing him, but Jerry Judy, yes. And this is a good time to pay him because he hasn't really balled out yet. So four years, 15 mil, actually pretty good for what he's played at. Jordan Love is also up. For some reason, the uh, fifth-year options have not been working. I think it's because of the weird roster. Like, we're technically in 2023. Something must have gotten confused there. I don't know what that's all about. But Jordan Love did take home Offensive Player of the Week last week. Rockers gets an upgrade. A lame one. So we have... We lowered the amount of playage that, that we're going to get. Um, we lowered it to six games of play the moments and two games of offense defense only so we're down to we can play two games of offense and four games of play the moments which i do plan on doing here tonight in this stream just to keep the thing moving a little bit Um, 
Did Judy take our deal? Yes, he did. Let's pay Jordan Love as well. He wants five years. Let's actually wait because there are some questions about Jordan Love with the way he finished last year. So let's wait. No reason to pay him now. Lunar, I, I haven't checked Patreon DMs in a while, uh, but I do eventually get through all of them. Is it urgent? Thoughts on the Ryan Ramchick extension? Well worth it. I think he showed that right tackles don't exactly make less than left tackles. It just happens to be the better tackles usually play left. But if you are a dominant tackle, I think the market has shown with him and Lane Johnson that it doesn't necessarily matter. Which first round QB will end up being the worst? If I had to bet on it, I would say Justin Fields or Mac Jones. Okay, Cowboys are two are one and two. I think I'm gonna sim this week. Like I said, we only have six games that we can interfere with here. So let's go ahead and advance. We lost 24 to 21. The offense a little bit more quiet there. A two and two start. A little bit of a Super Bowl hangover. Love wasn't bad necessarily. The run game was pretty poor. No sacks. Just a tough, tough loss in a close game. Um. Oh, Zach Wilson up to X Factor this week. I think we should play this one. The Jets are four and one. Quinn and Williams. Wait, oh, this is from last week. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to Jerry Judy about his frustrations. I don't I just don't care. Duval, the plan is to get a deep dive up tomorrow. Yes, I haven't made much progress on it, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully, yes. We'll have a deep dive tomorrow. If not, it'll be on Saturday. I think I might just I feel like I should just put scouting on auto. Speed this thing up, but they never scout anybody when you put it on auto. Bunch of upgrades. Which teams have the best rosters aside from QB? Well, without spoiling too much for the deep dives, I would say Tampa's got to be number one, right? Washington and Denver come to mind. Rams is pretty solid, but I don't want to give away too much there. Steelers deep dive on Saturday are going to be sick. Let's go. <laughs> the only problem with waiting on Jordan Love is he's going to get more expensive, but we got to we would pay him a, a super contract anyway, even if the game doesn't have him get that. So let's play offense this week. guessing dolphins for tomorrow i don't know i don't know so i made kind of a discovery last night guys i kind of like calling plays by concept so i'm gonna start doing that more often Kind of helps with the game plan a little bit more. There you go, Dylan. If Jameis was still the starting QB for the Bucks, 
but they have the roster they do now. What do I think their record would be this year? They problem with Jameis is he's just the freaking like you'd almost rather have with that good of a roster. You'd almost rather have like a Teddy Bridgewater type, you know. I mean, they'd be better than they were in 2019 because it's the same team, but with Tristan Wirfs and Antoine Winfield in a better... Oh, come on. I mean, you'd think they'd still be a playoff team, but I'd almost rather have, like, a Teddy Bridgewater than a Jameis because Jameis just, like, he just costs you games. That's the problem with him. I think they're, they're probably... a. 10 and 7 team with Jameis. The fact that Aaron Jones got a yard out of that is actually impressive. Impressive. Oh, the game audio is not working? Thank you, Jedi Waltz. That's all I want you guys to say. I don't know why it does that, but let's see if I can fix it real quick. All right, how's that? Ooh, blitz is on against the screen. This could work. There we go. Let me know how that game audio is now, guys. Jeez, how, what are we doing there, guys? Come on. Still no sound, huh? What the hell? It's frustrating because it says it's here on my end. need to unplug my um... it's there now there we go Dylan now let me know if it's too loud because I did turn it up I feel like it might be too loud now. also let me know if it's out of sync because that's also been an issue late lately Just let me know if I still need to turn it down further, guys. Appreciate you looking out. Oh! There you go, Jones. See that lead block by our rookie fullback there, chat?
So Maxwell's our young receiver that we're kind of trying to get a look at. Do I have any 4th of July plans? So my parents um, live out on a lake, and we usually have a pretty nice 4th of July party, but... Uh, This year we're actually doing it a year or a week late because uh, a bunch of friends are out of town. God, Carl Lawson's going off right now. But yeah, it's uh, as as TFGF just said, that's our favorite holiday. We love the Fourth of July. Chances Rogers plays for Green Bay. I'm gonna go 65%. We have now converted on 2nd and 25 and 2nd and 21. Great, great play. But our uh, our young left tackle, our first round pick from last year, is getting obliterated so far. So hopefully he can do a little bit better here. Who ends up a better corner, Akuda or CJ Henderson? I feel like that's a toss-up at this point. Your guess is as good as mine. Both have new coaches. Henderson has, I think, a higher physical upside. There you go, Judy. Man, we should have uh, listened to Jerry Judy's frustrations. <laughs> He's having a good game. We didn't even let him into the office. Going for it. Oh, MVS can't hold on. That was a good throw by Love, though. <laughs> What's up, Joe? AJ Dillon. It's a shame that we have Aaron Jones. And we can't get to witness the full AJ Dillon experience. I could coverage by Marcus May. Is Tanya the most overrated player in the NFL? Dude, he might be up there. Anytime a guy has like a big statistical season like that and it's not really all that impressive they're going to be in the conversation. Yeah, some people believe Tanyan's a top 10 tight end. That's just ridiculous. Nice. Because it's all fantasy football. It's like, people don't watch the games. They just say, oh, Tanyan, statistically, top four tight end when I go to my fantasy football rankings. Oh, god damn it. Did he just get, like, an instant shed? Did we just not block him? What happened there? Uh, what the hell? Thanks, EA. Thanks, EA. Thanks, Gryffindor. Logan Thomas or Evan Ingram? Is that? Are we at the point of, of comparing those two guys? I feel like that's pretty obvious. But Logan Thomas is pretty sweet. I mean, I would take Evan Ingram, but... Logan Thomas is pretty sweet. There you go, Judy. Dangerous pass, love, but I'll take it. Yeah, Spencer, there's not a lot of great tight ends, but that list is growing. There's more 
There's more good top 10 tight ends now than several years ago. There you go, MVS. playing smooth right now which rookie QB will have the best fantasy stats um, I mean in this upcoming season it's got to be Lawrence right I mean Lawrence or Wilson because Lance isn't gonna play all year Lance might be the guy you want for like your fantasy playoffs or fields because they they scramble So, like, they might be scoring more by the end of the season. But if you just want to talk about oh, who collects the most fantasy points throughout the year, I would think it's either Lawrence or Wilson. I'd probably lean towards Lawrence because I think their defense is going to be worse. He's going to have to pass the ball more. Yeah, you guys can always ask TFGF for fantasy advice. Dynasty guru. Oh, I wanted to give a look to Parsons. If you feel good about your chances of like making the playoffs, I would say Fields or Lance. Just because they're the ones that... Hang on. Get out of there. I'm just lucky I didn't get sacked there. They're the ones that, if they're starting by the end of the year. Dude, Tanyan's an 89 overall in Madden. That's a joke. Yes. Hey, we'll take that. Weird looking play, but Tebow rating prediction. I bet he's a little bit higher because it's EA. I bet they make him like a 74. He'll be like a 64 for me, if not lower. Oh, no. Thank God that didn't get picked. I I seriously thought I was throwing that to the guy on the right side of the line. That's my bad. I just pressed the wrong button. Dude, I think I think Tanyan will be over 85 overall because I think he's like an 85 or an 86 right now. Come on, Deguara. Yes, he rolls into the end zone. Let's go. But Zach Wilson is putting on the pressure. This is a good game. These sliders are uh, pretty nice, man. We haven't had to touch them at all. only an 80 or so on the current rosters. I mean, yeah, he'll probably be whatever he is right now, more or less. 
Are you crazy for thinking Lance is going to have the best career out of the other rookie QBs? Um, no, you're not crazy. I actually made that take myself. I mean, I, I said I think he's going to be the best and that he has the best chance at making the Hall of Fame. He's in the perfect scenario. You can't ask for... You can't ask for a better landing spot. Yeah, I think 80 for EA's rankings is fair. Let's run it, love. Odds Belichick turns Mac Jones into the next Brady. I, I'm not going to go as far as saying the next Brady, but if he wins two Super Bowls and has a you know Hall of Fame career, I'm not going to be stunned, but... Belichick's also getting up there in age, so. Oh, I thought we got man coverage. We did not. Next rebuild after this. Probably gonna take a pause from these style of rebuilds until 22. Um, maybe mix in either a like a fantasy rebuild or play some show or I, I wanna do, I was thinking a great game to play would be um, Jedi Fallen Order. Ah! But if we do a 24-hour stream, like I was saying, we gotta do. We'll have to do some kind of rebuild. Oh, let's go! I think Jedi Fallen Order would be good because it's not like The Last of Us where it was like 40 hours. You know, Jedi Fallen Order is like a 13-hour game, which is like perfect for do three to four streams, mix it up a little bit, get away from sports over the summer, and then we can get back to Madden when the season starts up. Oh my, dude. Josiah DeGuara, I like how he plays pissed. What's up, Trash Master Splinter? Do I think the new Star Wars trilogy sucked? Sucked is a strong word. I really enjoyed the first one. I thought the third one was fine. I wouldn't say it sucked. I would say it was a disappointment. <laughs> Brandon comes in for his weekly punt punt for charity <laughs> I just I can't do it it's a realistic rebuild you're funny as hell though for thinking I would going for oh no why did he throw that inside he was running to the pylon yeah the middle Star Wars messed everything up it was terrible I thought I thought seven and nine were all right. I mean, they were basically doing damage control. I'm not watching the Bad Batch. Should, should I? I've heard people like it. I just I saw that part of the Clone Wars and I was just like, eh, that's all right. Deguara, baby. backed up. Defense stepped up though. Bad Batch is good. I'll have to check it out.
you get to see the transition into the em into Empire. Uh, all right, that's pretty sick. Man, Love is having one of his best games. Is Antonio Brown a Hall of Famer? A hundred percent. Unless he does something really screwed up legally, like if he like goes even further, like his reputation was tarnished, but he's he seems to have like mentally settled down from that like two year stretch where he was just like seemed to be off the wall. As long as he doesn't go back to crazy Antonio Brown and like ruins his reputation even further, he's absolutely all of him. I mean He's he's arguably the most efficient uncoverable receiver we've ever watched. Like snap to snap. Like Randy Moss, more uncoverable on a deep ball. AJ Dillon, let's go. DK Metcalf stat prediction. What did he have last year? Oh, he did not get his feet down, but I'll take it. Let's see if they review it. I got the Tony Romo soundbite ready. Oh, they're saying he got it. Okay. Thoughts on Revenge of the Sith? Dude, Revenge of the Sith, maybe it's just because I'm... I was a kid when it came out, and I watched it a million times. I will I will stand Revenge of the Sith till the day I die. It's probably my my favorite Star Wars movie. Like, it's technically not as good as some of the old ones, but if some if someone's just like, hey, throw on a Star Wars movie, which one do you want? I'm going to say Revenge of the Sith every time. Dang it. There's my pick. I thought MVS was going to keep coming, and he just stopped. Running against this interior line is scary. Until Aaron Jones. Marcus, when he watches Revenge of the Sith, this is where the fun begins. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, Ewan McGregor, Obi-Wan, has got to be the best Star Wars character, right? From, from character to actor, like, to just right just like action and everything like you and McGregor oh Judy look at that spin all right just one more first down Another stream I might do some of is uh, Mass Effect. I'm I'm debating because I I do want to do that 24 hour stream. So if I do if I beat the second game before I do that, I think I'll do I'll stream a little Mass Effect three. Hold on to the ball. 
I thought Deguara was going to block that guy, but that's GG's. Next great QB rivalry in the NFL. How about, how about Burrell versus Baker versus Lamar? A three-way, three-way rivalry. If that counts. Is Jalen Ramsey a Hall of Famer? He's a Hall of Fame talent. He needs to finish his career the way he's been playing. If he retired today, he wouldn't be a Hall of Famer. Love versus Fields. I like it. Lance versus Murray is a good one. This is, I mean, there's a lot of divisions that have two really promising young quarterbacks right now. It's a good time. Good time to be an NFL fan. All right. Good team win against a great Jets team. Cam Newton versus his shoulder. Literally, ouch. All right, Jair's about to max out. Yeah, Josh Allen and Wilson, Mahomes, Herbert. I mean, there's some... There's some insane rivalries. Do I think Russell Wilson's a Hall of Famer? Yeah, totally. I mean, you assume he plays another five years to just ensure it. I mean, we might reach a point in time where a Russell Wilson caliber quarterback is not a Hall of Famer because quarterbacks are just getting better every year, it seems like. But... Russ played before this explosion of athletic. You just bought Ted a real grass, you know what, for our patio. No, I don't think it's too early at all. I think I think that's great a great idea. Oh my god guys, Jimmy Garoppolo is back in New England. What the hell? Tom Brady's a backup to Jordan Love, and Jimmy Garoppolo's back in New England. I feel like we gotta we gotta do play the moments for this one just just because. I'm going to put scouting on auto. I don't feel like dealing with it every week. Our team's good enough. We'll just uh, be a little more blind, which is honestly fair because you already know too much on draft day. We'll do one more week, and we'll scout. Receivers, I guess. Someone got put in timeout. What you saying, chat? All right, let's go play key moments here. We're still only three and two. We gotta keep the W's coming. Nice, defense gets a turnover on Jimmy G right away. See you another day on that one. 
Come on, Dylan. Ah, oh, we're going for it. We're going for it. The defense gifted us this field position. We're not going to waste it. There we go. Man, Josiah DeGuara. Nice little back shoulder there by Love. Okay, third and four. Garoppolo wearing number nine. If we don't get QB sneaks with Brady, I'm doing a disservice. He should seriously have a a superstar ability for QB sneaks. Like he's he's that much better at QB sneaks than everybody else that he should really have his own. I'm gonna call timeout. That's a bad defensive call. Here we go, Kiki. Field goal is no good. Odds of Tebow making the roster? I'll go 50-50. I'll give him a shot. This matchup will always remind you of the New England lineman that almost took it a distance on the kickoff. That was amazing, dude. That was amazing. Linemen around the world rejoiced when that happened. Hell, I'm a Packers fan, and I wasn't even that mad about it. Oh, what the heck? Dude, we got... I think Chris... Speaking of Star Wars, I think Christian Barmore just used the force to sack us there, because I thought I had a clean, clean lane to get out of there. Apparently not. Christian Darth Moore. Yeah, seriously, dude. Dang. Good coverage. Not a terrible look there. Defense is doing their job, though. That was a panic throw. I was actually trying to stiff arm the defensive tackle, so thank God that wasn't a pick six. Is Brett Favre overrated? No, I think he's properly rated. No one talks about Brett Favre as like a top five quarterback, which I think is fair. He's in like the top 10-ish range, which I think is the way most people perceive him. Dude, DeGuara. Yeah, Grim Chief, that Cardinals game, I had to practice some Madden last night because I don't want to come on here and just scream all the time in those TFGO games, but that game was on another level of just pissing me off. <laughs> Dude, we are dominating this game. Oh, and then we give a touchdown. Yeah, Lambo. I think that's that'd be fun to do a fantasy style rebuild. And do like a theme. Do like all Big Ten or all SEC. All SEC would be too easy. We'd have to do like probably I'd do all Big Ten. Use my, my Midwest bias. Or do like a my guys. My guys team would be fun too. Oh, dang it. If that second spin went upfield, that could have been a touchdown. Yeah, 
Yeah, basically, an all Iowa, Michigan O line. Michigan's got some studs. Oh, Parsons, go, baby. chat Maxwell time out Rodgers, I want you to just sit down right there. Perfect. Do I root for any other college team other than just Minnesota? I'm more of a... I root for... I find myself rooting for... Oh, Steph, Jordan Love threw a pick to Stephon Gilmore in simulation, guys. We were supposed to avoid him <laughs> for the X-Factor challenge. Um, I'm kind of a bandwagon college football fan. I find it more enjoyable as a Minnesotan because, let's be honest, Minnesota's never going to win a national championship. So I just find favorite players and cheer for those players. Jesus. I don't have any shame saying I'm a bandwagon college football fan. I usually don't cheer for Bama, though. Yeah, Maxwell. I don't know how that wasn't a touchdown, but great throw by Love. No! No! Whew. Just glad it wasn't picked. All right, Judy. You're getting the slant. There we go. Look at Love firing that thing in there. Fourth quarter. Man, this offense has turned it on. Yeah, parity in college football is uh, lacking for sure. If I had to locate, relocate one NFL team, who would it be? Probably the Chargers. Oh, good grief. Is Tom Brady on the sidelines, like, willing this to victory? Hi, Teddy. Easy touchdown. Teddy in the house. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, are you tired? Come here. Hi, buddy. Hello. Greetings, dog. Hello. I don't even feel like playing this game anymore. Let's keep this. Let's keep this thing rolling. Hey, 
Aretha. You want a treat? this coffee so I'm not up all night. Four touchdowns for Jordan Love, who's already won a couple player of the weeks, making an MVP case for Love. Steelhead asks, how do I think Hurts will do with the Eagles? Well, Steelhead, if you have not watched my deep dive series on YouTube, I cannot recommend it enough. I talk about Jalen Hurts in depth, um, but... I'm not particularly high on Jalen Hurts. All right, Jimmy Monty. Also, Steelhead, no, I do not think Aaron Rodgers gets traded. But if he does, it'll be Denver. Okay, we want to go... Probably this guy's like actually good. That's the thing. I'm gonna go power rush and hope he gets block shedding out of it. Well, we know we didn't get this because Love threw him a pick. I guess if we win the game, we still get something out of it. So we have. Two games, two games of play the moments? Have we played two? Or do we play? We played these two play the moments. So we have three games of play the moments left and um, one more game of all offense on the season. So I think I'm gonna play, play the moments against the Bears here and then I'll use Mm. But do we save it and not play the Bears twice? Lions and Giants, eh. Eagles, eh. The Bears have been Bears have been a good rivalry for us, so I'm gonna play the Bears twice. How do I feel about the Reggie Bush ordeal? It pisses me off. Like, give the guy his Heisman trophy back. It's ridiculous. The fact that they took it away in the first place is is absurd. And now it's just like, time to swallow your pride, NCAA. Like, you've been violating the Constitution of the United States for over a century. It's time to take a back seat and let the real humans decide what to do here. Because, Jesus. It's a trophy. It's a fucking trophy. Give him the trophy. He was selling cleats because he was a broke college kid. Like, get off your high horse and give the guy's damn Heisman trophy back. Thoughts on the Constitution of the United States? Oh, wrong channel. Wrong channel to get that, that breakdown right there. to go back to like my ninth grade civics class. All right, so Jordan Love, we're definitely gonna pay. We don't necessarily have to do it now. Amos, we're prepared to let him go. We've had some injuries at safety. Now Dylan, this is kind of perfect. Dylan's contract's up, but he hasn't produced at a high enough level that we would give him like a massive ass contract. He'd probably get more than this. I'm gonna give him six mil per. But I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him four years. We got some other guys. Deguara is actually kind of earning that contract. Three years, eleven mil is not bad. Runyon, we want to repay. Perry Nickerson's been so good on special teams, but he's asking for a ton of money. I don't like that. All right, we're gonna do. We're going to do play the moments this week, and then we'll, um... We'll do the offensive game in Chicago. Hi, Teddy. I think Teddy's, like, super tired. He didn't get his nap today. Hottest president? Gosh, I 
feel like none of the presidents in my lifetime are all that attractive. Like Reagan, maybe? Actually, I'm going to go with JFK. JFK is a good-looking man. Sack. Oh, Lincoln? Lincoln... Lincoln might be the uh, the answer there. JFK or Lincoln? Chat, what if I told you I'm related to Abraham Lincoln? Would you believe me? Oh, man. Jeez. Low scoring game. <laughs> Nixter, do a deep dive into like old wars. <laughs> I wonder if Aaron Jones would be pissed that we extended A.J. Dillon and not him. What's going on, everybody? Welcome into the reveal of the uh, number 37 war of all time with a deep dive into the 100 years war. Today we're going to be breaking down the French and the... British? Or just the French? Just the French? I think it's just the French. Oh, he was open! Alright, defense, step it up. No one's answered me yet on if it was just the French for the Hundred Years' War or what that one was, uh, what was going on with that one. God, dude, Fields is so fast. I gotta start, I gotta get my contain on. Start the Patriots deep dive talking about the Revolutionary War. It'd be hilarious, dude. Like, the Boston Massacre. <laughs> it all started in... 1773. Yeah, there we go, Kenny. I can't watch you Hundred Years' War was England and France. That was my original thought. Thank you for clarifying, Broth EJ. Got him. Man, Fields is actually really easy to play against. You just need to rush him. And spy, because he scrambles like every time. Let's see if it lets me play. Maybe maybe it will, maybe it won't. Nope. We are driving here though. Come on, let's tie it up. Maxwell. Oh shit, guys, look at our right tackle. The guy you guys told me not to draft. He's got a he's got a little superstar out there. But don't look at him too long, you'll get a delay a game. Oh god, Pats vs. Chiefs, 1880. Yikes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I just got a text from TFGF that they're still doing construction outside. It's 8.38. I mean, I'm glad that they're working hard to get it done because it's taking way too long, but also, like, come on. <laughs> oh, dude. Eddie Jackson wanted to house that. Franklin Pierce is considered by many to be the hottest U.S. president. I'll have, to, I'll have to quite literally check him out. God, this Bears defense is stacked. There you go, Jones. There you go. At least our offense is answering. Can't tell if that's Trevathan or a different... Oh, it's Hightower. I forgot they have Hightower. A deep dive into the current state of U.S. politics. Hard pass on that one. It'd be a lose-lose situation for me. <laughs> or I guess a win-lose. If, if, as long as I took one side, right? If I took both sides, it'd be a lose-lose. That'd be the death of my channel if I even started talking about politics. All right, it's a big, it's a big moment, chat. Dude, they're in like a freaking quarters defense. What are they doing? I guess we're in four wide, but still. Oh, Khalil Mack, of course. Oh, no. I did not see that D tackle drop into coverage, let alone it got deflected. Dude, Matt Patricia's the Bears coach. And they have uh, Donta Hightower. That's actually kind of perfect. Defense stepping up. Yeah, TFGF and I do not really get into politics. It's part of why we have such a healthy relationship. At least in my opinion. You guys can... Oh, God. MVS, keep running the route. Khalil Mack almost housed it. Teddy. Teddy. Oh. 
Someone say my name? Oh, AJ Dillon, nice. Dude, Josiah DeGora. Best tight end in Packers history? He's outlasted everybody else. Sternberger. Dawson Knox, who he signed. Bears just had to keep it interesting, didn't they? How about a AJ Dillon breakaway touchdown run right here to seal the game? Oh, is that a house call? Dang it. Eddie Jackson brings us down almost. Hey, I didn't say oh, I did say touchdown run. I thought I just said breakaway run. That would have been an epic call. Emergency situation, am I starting Rosen or Haskins? Oh, man. That's actually difficult. I might lean Haskins, but it's like the same thing. They're like literally the same player. There's like almost no difference between the two. All right, that's a big W. We have had some close games, man. But GG's. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Arnaby Care. He's played more recently than than Rosen. What's up, Laduka? Thank you for the sub. Nighthawks legend Josh Rosen. Yeah, if I let my TFG plays bias leak in, Josh Rosen's got to be the pick. Could I succeed in a Shanahan offense? No, not in the NFL. <laughs> if I took two years to really get myself in shape, and practice throwing a football, I could maybe complete five passes if they were all screens. Reports are that Haskins is doing well in Pittsburgh. Hope you're right. I'll believe it when I see it. Lincoln beard for Halloween or no wedding? I mean, I guess it's Lincoln beard then. Exactly, Potato. We heard the same thing in Washington. How'd that go? Why is PFF low on Rodgers and high on Brady? I, I can't explain that one, man. I really can't explain it. Okay, we are five and two. We've gotten the season back on track. We have two play the moment games left and one game of offense.
I think we sim against Detroit this week. Um, I think we can wait on everybody else here. Other than these two when they're up. Week 13, we're going to pay them. Ramon Chambers. I'm going to keep actually working on his like run stopping ability because we're so good with the other. We don't necessarily need him to be a dominant pass rusher. I'd rather him develop like that. Okay, so we're going to sim this week against Detroit. Resign Brady. Dude, he's got to retire after this, right? Ooh, 35 to 21. The Vikings are six and two, so we should do a we should do a moments this week. This is a big game for the division. What happened though? I guess Detroit just turned it on, huh? Goff went off. There's nothing wrong with our offense, but our defense just didn't play well. That's a surprise. That's like our team's strength. All right, so we are going to, let's actually switch it the other way. Emphasize preparation over rest for once. A whole 100 XP for the team. Was it worth a minus five morale for the whole team? Absolutely not. <laughs> There's like an obvious choice on what's better there. Let's try to neutralize Daniil Hunter. And Dan, uh, Delvin Cook. Now we do need to look. Our uh, our young tackle guys actually has superstar. He's got post up. Let's go. I guess if it's between that and Polar Elite, we'll go post up. Also, I'm gonna mix it up and go. Jukebox. Oh, or just evasive is better. Probably should have done that a while ago, but. Richard Flynn, he's been quiet. I thought I honestly thought he was gonna be amazing in the slot right away. Maybe he just needs a little time. God, Brady Breeze says extend me. Matt Brothers, this guy hasn't unlocked his dev yet, but he's a monster. Just gotta keep working on his power rush. Josh Parsons finally gets an upgrade, and it's a pretty good one. And Jordan. <laughs> Duval. I'm going to go pretty low, pretty low on the odds of that one happening. Although he is my dude. I think he'll be good in Tennessee. All right, we got a turnover. I totally forgot we have Jack Doyle here still. Total afterthought. Beauty. All right, defense, I see you. Dominating.
What did I just call? Stupid call. There's a little comebacker. I like it. Are we streaming the wedding? Uh, no. no. Currently no plans to stream the wedding. Odds of Panthers sweeping the Falcons? Well, I'd say both games are pretty close to a 50-50, so... 25%? Does that sound right? If my math adds up. A deep dive into the wedding. Now that'd be funny. Like recap, do like a film breakdown of the wedding. That'd be good. And I would do it from the beach in Mexico on our honeymoon. Dang. Good tackle, good tackle. Bridesmaid power ranking? I'd get slapped in the face if I did that. 10 nothing. All right, Aaron Jones. All right. Oh, he plucked that. I don't know why he ran the out route. He should have just sat down, but... Great catch, Judy. I feel like Judy's finally got to be having a thousand-yard season, right? He's been going off every time we hop in here. Oh, let's go. Oh, what the heck? That totally threw the camera off. there's audio to this one. TF Jeff just sent me a video from the patio. Oh. And while I was listening to that, I didn't realize that stupid play the moments ruins your fumbles when they're not fumbles. But we'll just accept that Parsons actually fumbled that because he doesn't know how to play football. We should really probably take Parsons out on those formations because he's been really bad and useless. <laughs> the whole converting him to tight end thing has not worked well. Teddy's not the ring bearer, he's just the ring bear. Oh, come on. Just put it in his lap there, love. Apparently, the coach says go for it. This is a terrible idea, coach. We should 100% kick this field goal. <laughs> Take a two-score lead. There we go. That's more reasonable. Mariota is still the quarterback here. I thought that was just an injury thing. Hey, there's an interception for our slot corner we were just talking about. Nice. Ooh, he has two interceptions. Let's go. I hope he gets a breakout next week. 
Alright, one last play. Come on, Parsons, do something. Jesus. Great play by 29. Dang. Oh. Doesn't matter. I was just trying to squeeze it in there. Who is offense and who's defense in our wedding? I feel like you're offense, but maybe you think differently. We picked Mariota off three times. That was Jawan Williams for the Vikings. I think Teddy's actually perfectly fine with this arrangement because this is the best sleep he's gotten all day. Do I think Mariota gets another starting chance in the NFL? Yes. Yes, I do. Might, might not be the most glamorous, but if Ryan Fitzpatrick is still getting chances, I think Mariota definitely will. He looked legit good in that game against uh, the Chargers last year. Okay, so the Bears have fallen to four and five. I think we should save our last offensive pledge and just hope that we can pick up a victory here by simming. Because we only have one game of play the moments and one game of offense left, and I think we should save those. Home field advantage definitely goes to TFGF. It's in Chicago, so it's on her home turf. Okay, so weekly award goes to Flynn. I'm sad he didn't get a breakout. I have to play the Bears this game? Why? We already played the Bears. Is there something I'm not thinking of, Nixter? You can make a really dumb prediction for it. What's the tell me the prediction before I before I skip this? Cuz I feel like we should save it. We still have too much football left to play. I'm not I'm not going to play it next year. We got we got way too many uh games ahead of us. But I do want to see your joke. Oh, TFG versus TFGF is the wedding game. All right, fine. But I'm just gonna do play the moments and save the full offense for another one later. Can fire up that prediction. Uh-oh, Parsons is still on the field chat. Oh, catch the ball, Judy, come on. Man, things are definitely leaning towards TFGF right now. Good tackle, Sertan. Thank you. Read Brothy J's message. TFG will have the same number of rings as Rogers. Ha! Oh, that's good. Ooh, touchdown drive.
until he gets tra I'll have I'll have more rings than Rogers or as many rings as Rogers for a month and then he'll win one with Denver uh, a month later I still can't believe how many um, season ending injuries we got in this Brutal. Eesh. Dude, that was a heck of a run by Jordan Love. Scary to go over the middle like that, but what a run. Now let's blast them. Jeez, they got another superstar on the D-line. Ah, Dylan. Oh, they have Melvin Ingram playing defensive end. Great. 3-4 defensive end, mind you. Oh, almost, almost. All right, we're tossing it out this way. Come on, fullback, give us a block. That was just obliterated. <laughs> TFGF voted for me. Let's go. She has more confidence. Has Brady ever been a better QB than Rodgers? Like in a given season? Yeah. I would. What was it? 2016, maybe? One of those years when Rodgers was banged up and the Packers sucked. Brady was better. And then. That's pretty much it. Yikes, that easily could have been picked off. I feel like their down years have actually kind of coincided too. Like if, if Rodgers had the year he had last year and Brady had the year he had this year, Brady would have been better. Oh, God, at least we got rid of it. We need some points here. Oh, come on. Yeah, TFW is not, uh, not the same. We got to come up with... We gotta come up with something else. Jesus. Bears defense is clamping down. <laughs> I'm gonna cost her 15,000 channel points if I lose this game. That took a swing. This was supposed to be me versus her, and then she bet on me. <laughs> defense come on oh sack him thank you all right big moment here 21 yard line third and sixth though six though Maxwell, he goes to get it, but runs the wrong way. Dang. And what do we do? Coach says go for it. All right.
Good job. Good job. Do I think the Nick Casario hate is undeserved or is undeserved? Yes. I don't think we should ever hate on a head coach that hasn't even done anything yet. People hated on the Matt LaFleur hire for the exact same reasons, and that turned out real great for people, so. Oh, really? Mid-play? Are you serious? Well, that's annoying. We're throwing it to RB. Oh, Kylan Hill! TFB is much better, Brothy J. That franchise bride. I like that. Okay, third and six. Like, I don't know why Amari Rodgers is always out there in this formation. I thought I fixed it, but Madden is insistent. Also, Aaron Jones must have gotten hurt because Kylan Hill is in there, which is fine. We're ready for Kylan Hill season next year. Does TFG now stand for that franchise group? Go Maxwell. Let's go. God, I'm telling you, I like this 13. All right, we got uh, we got blitz on our hands, so. Oh come, love, bro. Put it on the run on the receiver. Big end of game drive. Here we go. There you go, Aaron Jones. There you go. Have a day. 99 yards on 11 carries, coming back from injury. Chat's trying to name my children after my least favorite football. Tom Brady Whitman and Brian Gutekunst Whitman just automatically hate my children. Sounds like a terrible idea. Blake Brady Whitman. Ugh. Yuck. Problem is, Anna hates the name Aaron, so we can't get that. All right, field goal should put this one away. I just got to make the kick.
Right down the dick. And we even get a free interception out of it. Who should we get it with? I'm gonna get it with Flynn. Oh, they're not actually going Hail Mary, though. GG's, GG's. We picked off fields twice. Technically, Spencer, you're right. Aaron Rodgers technically is not the best Aaron in the NFL. He might be the second best player in the NFL, but... He might also be the second best Aaron. Because Aaron Donald is the best player in the NFL without positional value included. Okay. So we have one more game that we get to play and it's a all offense, all defense game. Oh God, an Aaron Jones breakout against Miami. Four touchdowns or 200 rushing yards. We're letting them go and they're two and eight. I'm not gonna play it. We're going to sim this one. Might be fun to get in a shootout with the Bills if they're good. <laughs> Aaron Jones is embarrassed. We won 27-14. to 14. Good team win. The, um, the Bills are 3-8, and eight, so we're going to skip that. Yeah, Nickster... TFGF's aunt did, uh, can confirm, did date Al Capone and did have her house burned down because it was, like, loaded with either drugs or drug money or both. We still aren't entirely sure if they're coming for us, but we think we're safe. Did I always go slot for Perry Nickerson, thinking he's going to get man and zone, and he always only gets man? But now it's like, okay, he has 97 speed and 76 man coverage. Like, that's not terrible. All right, Matt Brothers, we're going to go power moves. Got to get that zone up for this guy. Charlie Posey. Definitely going agility. Freeman just continues to get better. Poor Adrian Amos. You traded Deshaun to the Washington football team and they got the number one, number two overall pick. That's so stupid. They'd be so good. All right, so I'm going to simulate this one against the Bills. We got to pick one of these games to play. Whoever the first one with a winning record is, I guess we'll take them on. Twenty-four to twenty-one. Good team efforts here. Let's see how the, the squad's done these last two weeks. Do we play the Vikings again? Oh, we already played the Vikings once. Okay, so we have the tiebreaker over them. A couple of good team wins. Love just kind of trucking along. Judy, a good week.
Defense definitely hasn't been quite the same, but God, Love just can't help himself but throw a pick every week. But when he's throwing for 300 yards and two plus touchdowns every week as well, it's not that big a deal. And he hasn't had those big, big weeks where he throws three plus picks. Let's see the stats on the season as a whole. Like Love's, Love's been real solid. Nine interceptions. I can't believe they're still doing construction. That's insane. TFGF's like, what is going on? We, we finally get the patio all set up to hang out outside, and they're just doing construction till 10 p.m. So Josiah DeGuara is actually having a really nice season with Dawson Knox on the injured reserve. Judy trying to get that first 1,000-yard season. Hoping we can make that happen. The sack numbers are solid. Oh, look at Rashad Flynn. What a year, dude. He could be like a defensive rookie of the year candidate there. I thought he was being more quiet, but that's... Love is top for MVP. There he is. Defensive rookie of the year, Rashad Flynn. Hopefully he can finish strong. That'd be sick. I told you guys that guy was going to be a stud the second we drafted him. Tyler Bass is going to win best kicker. So the Rams are five and seven. We also play the Eagles, Lions, and Giants. Who's the best team out of that group? Probably the Giants because it's Madden and they love the Giants. Eagles are seven and five. Giants are four and eight and the Lions are four and eight. So we are gonna play the Eagles next week. We're getting into win the Super Bowl again territory guys. Oh yeah, we were hyping up our young corner who was uh, looking like a potential rookie of the year. Thoughts on an Alaska expansion team? I don't like it. It's not a market and it's a travel nightmare. Doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm wrong. About Alaska? They can have private jets. Every, Alaska every team literally team. has their own plane, though. You're just wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay. There was a few players. Did this jump up? I didn't think we had 14 players. Josiah DeGuar has definitely earned this contract. That's not even that big. So we're going to pay him. And then John Runyon, two years, 8.8 .8 mil. That's a good deal as well. Sweet. We kept them around. I want Perry Nickerson, but not for 4.5 mil. Brady Breeze for 5.2? Uh, we've got a deep enough safety group. We'll wait on that. Maybe we can get him back. If we can get him and Perry back for cheap, that'd be great. But let's sim here. Twenty-one to seven, dude. Let's go. O line gets some XP. NFL masterminds in the house. What's up? And now we got to play Fletcher Cox this week. Let's commit to neutralizing him because we're playing all offense this week. This is our last playage of the season till we get to the playoffs. Playoffs? Don't talk about it. playoffs. You kidding me? Sorry, Jim. Playoffs? Sorry, Jim. Love that Kenny Clark is still getting better. He's actually super young. He's only 27 in this in year three. That's crazy. Oh, guys, we're going against Robert Link. Who in the chat remembers the great Robert Link?
Maryland legend. Wait, that's not what I called. I don't hate it though. God, if we could have made that guy miss. Would Everson Griffin be worth signing in Minnesota? Um, I guess it couldn't hurt. He might still have some juice in the tank. You know what, Taguara? I'm just going to be happy that you broke that up. Jeez. Robert Link putting on the pressure chat. This defense putting on the pressure too. Who do I think starts in Pittsburgh after Ben retires? Um, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we ha see Haskins for a year and then they draft a guy, but I feel like QB draft is like, that's got to be on their radar, right? Like, I'll be stunned if they go into 2022 with only Dwayne Haskins. Like, he might get a chance, but that can't be their plan. Oh, MVS. All day. The one-handed grab. Yeah, right. Dude, Darius Slay didn't stand a chance on that one. Can we get one-on-one -on -one again, please? That was too easy. Nice throw and catch. Is Christian Kirk able to be a good number two when AJ Green is gone? Screw Christian Kirk. How about Rondale Moore? I think Christian Kirk's on a different team next year. Cliff Kingsbury just doesn't know how to use him. He should be a slot, a slot only receiver. I don't get why they always stick him on the outside. What do I think Kay Johnson's upside is? Uh, who's a solid slot? Reliable 10 year vet. Hey, I'll take that. Deguara after getting the contract. Let's go. Mackenzie Alexander. Well, if, if we were talking about slot corners, then yes. that's he, He's the Mackenzie Alexander of slot receivers. <laughs> yeah, that was under pressure. And there's the Fletcher Cox sacks. I, I thought we could run away from Fletcher Cox. Apparently not. We got to get Love a skate artist, man. We got to get him, win that MVP, get him to superstar so we can get him a skate artist. Oh, I should have just thrown the drag.
A Madden roster with only busts would be fun. For a uh, rebuild, like a fantasy draft idea. Mackenzie Alexander is your least favorite name in the entire world. Yes, that is correct. You want to explain that one to the chat? About why you hate that name, TFGF? Oh, go to... Oh, no! The fullback with the holding call. Dang it. Adam Humphreys. There you go, Spencer. I think Kay Johnson... Could be very Adam Humphreys-esque. Cut the fullback. <laughs> Alright, Parsons. At least you're doing something. Oh no. Oh no. They were all over that one. Ah, DeGuara. Play action there was really unrealistic, but... Is Connor Weddington just a kick return? Dude, I actually have a Connor Weddington film breakdown on my Patreon, believe it or not. Randomly enough. Oh, that was dumb. That was really dumb. I... God. Of course Nick Barnett fucking picks it off, dropping into a hot zone. I thought just maybe Aaron Jones was going to go the other way. Ooh, defense bails this out, though. see a big uh, big Chad BB truther is he even gonna make the team this year oh there's the MVS we know and love old claptrap himself run it love should Alex Smith be considered a boss? No. Bust is not reserved for 14-year vets who've been to conference championships. Granted, Blake Bortles is still going, so I guess that can't be the only standard. Oh, just give it to him. Come on. Other than the pick I threw, Love's having a great game. Bigger bus, Doxson or Treadwell? I guess Doxson, because he hasn't been on the field, but at least Doxson's injury related. Laquan Treadwell is just bad. Jeez, dude, Robert Link. Slaughtering us out here. 24 points against our defense in the first half. That's our boy. I'm not even mad about it. mask MVS has got slay again let's put Parsons up the middle dude 
Look at 13. Look at 13. Mans just shows up. Mario Rogers. God, another holding call? At least we got the first down. We're gonna change Jones to the side with the blitz coming. Well, we get an open field. We do, but the we got away from it. Oh man, dumb throw. I was zeroing in on on 13 there. Second interception of the game. Defense has our back though. Hey, we've been much better about throwing interceptions in this stream. We just got to chill a little bit. It's been a much more uh, mellow season. Oh, Josh Myers goes down. It's a good thing we're deep at center. All right, dude. MVS, just go deep. Which QB from this draft am I most excited for? I'm going to say Zach Wilson. I think Zach Wilson is the most fun quarterback to watch in this draft. Combination of like playmaking, structure, swagger. I, li I like Trevor Lawrence. I don't know if he's necessarily as fun to watch as Zach Wilson. He's much more uh, to the book, other than his hair, which I also don't like. Never been a fan of Lawrence's hair. I think it's, I think it's ugly, personally. I am excited for Trey Lance, absolutely, but I'm even more excited for Wilson, honestly. Oh, jeez. Okay, MVS. I don't think I've ever seen him truck anyone in my entire life, but I'll take it. Hey, Parsons, that's your dude, chat. That's the man of the people right there. Converted tight end wide receiver. Jeez, dude, Robert Link, chill out. 31 points. It's a good game. We picked a good one to play right here. That's a good reason Jedi Jedi Ralts fields because your grandpa's a Bears fan and you want him to see a good Bears team. It's good. It's a good reason. 
Dude, that's our third holding call this game. What's going on? Max Protect, we got MVS on the deep cross, and Judy, sorry, MVS on the post, and Judy on the deep in route. And we still get sacked, like, immediately by four. Come on, guys. What a game by Derek Barnett. He's got a pick, a sack. We go freaking Max Protect, and we give that up. That is unacceptable. Come on, D. Good job. We needed that. I'm gonna Let's snap it. Oh, come on! Oh, Aaron Jones almost. If Donald breaks out in Carolina, will I cop his jersey? Probably, <laughs> yeah. Problem is I don't wear jerseys, and I, my wall is full, so that's the only thing. We got ourselves an old-fashioned shootout here. Oh, almost. Rogers hits that throw right there. Scott, you just saw a Badger lineman just get sponsored by Culver's. Dude, let's go. Maxwell. Go do your go do a Lambo leap, my dude. I don't want to draft Ooh, we got a turnover. I don't want to draft a receiver because I want Maxwell to turn into the the newest of Green Bay receivers that developed into rock stars. Oh, I'm going to Guara here. Oh, wait, uh, what? What? Dude, Blake Cashman. What? Off his back, off to Guara's hands, back into Cashman's hands. What the heck? Defense gets a freaking stop, too. Nice read. Alright, pass block for us, guys. Oh, MVS with the drop. Classic. Classic, classic, classic. Dude, Derek Barnett. 
Go off. We have to go Victoria's Secret again tomorrow, but not for us. Am I in? I suppose. I gotta go to the golf store, so... I guess after work we can do a little shopping. God, Perry Nickerson. We, we gotta bring him back. He's so valuable. Dude, the funny clothing at Victoria's Secret is my favorite. Like the assless chaps. Dude, this turned into a defensive struggle all of a sudden, but I respect our defense for stepping up. It's for my sister? Dude, I can't go to Victoria's Secret for my sister. No. I'll, st I'll wait outside. <laughs> I'll go with you, but I'm not going in to pick out lingerie for my sister. Not happening. <laughs> oh, DeGuara. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> Dude, that's one of that's a legendary chat moment right there. Jeez, dude, Blake Cashman locking down MVS on man-to-man -man coverage on a post route. You hate to see it. Timeout. Oh, man, this is tight. So we have our kicker's got a boot. Tyler Bass is a stud. I'm going to go. I like this play call, actually. Shakes right here. Dude, what the heck was that? Can I... I'm going for it, dude. Screw it. No risk it, no biscuit. What? Dude, put the ball on him, love. Don't just throw it into the dirt. We lost. Rodrigo made the kick. Dude, that sucks. A terrible corner route by Jerry Judy. And then we go for it on fourth down, and I have an open receiver, and Love just throws it into the dirt. It really isn't going to affect us all that much, but still. Would I rather have Galladay with MVS separation ability or MVS with Galladay's hands? Isn't that the same player? Oh, Darnell Savage. That's a boost. I mean, Galladay's just stronger, so I guess you go with the Galladay version of that hypothetical. All right, we're going to advance. Hopefully we win these next two games and get the one seed. We might as well wrap this thing up. Oh, my God, a Josiah DeGuara breakout, and we're, out of, we're all out of playage. Please throw him the football. Travis Maxwell, that's our guy. Give us some release. Nice, nice, nice. Come on. Feed DeGuara. Feed him. 32 to 29. Ah, he didn't get it. Did we clinch the one seed? No, we have not. So I'm going to play the starters. A 
If only Deguara got that breakout last week. Bunch of upgrades. Is wide receiver more about having one superstar or three good options? I think either can work. It kind of depends on who the guys are. I think I'd rather have three good ones. But I feel like also, as long as you aren't anyone other than Green Bay, whereas like, yeah, you've got Devontae Adams, but you don't even touch wide receiver other than him. Like that's, that's an outlier. Usually it's like, okay, you have Julio, but then you also have a Marvin Jones and Mohamed Sanu who are like, you know, decent starters. Like I'd rather have Julio and then be everyone else who at least signs or drafts something else at receiver. I'd rather have that situation than like I don't know, the Jets, where you have like three good options. You know what I mean? Jesus, like our whole team got upgrades this week. Jets or Packers wide receiver room. Well, we'll just have to wait for the uh, Packers deep dive to see where the Packers receiver group ranks. I need a good sound bite for like, like no spoilers or something. All right, let's just um, let's just sim here. Then we'll look at the stats. Oh, tough loss. 34 to 31, but that's just the Giants. And we actually have to play a wild card game. Dang it. That's gonna extend our stream. Are you TFGF, are you okay if we do these playoffs? Could be anywhere from 10 minutes to 45 minutes. Stream's already going two and a half hours long here. Holy upgrades, man. All right, we gotta get you some zone love there, Rashad Flynn. All right, chat, we are gonna finish there we'll leave it with the suspense of playoffs that's a decent enough stopping point and then our next stream will be playoffs and another off season so thank you everyone for watching it was a really fun stream you guys showed up big time with the comments appreciate you for watching as always you can catch the entire series on tfg plays and um always follow at twitter as well at tfg plays on twitter for stream time announcements good night everybody